going on? You guys are here with Team Journey TC. I haven't made a video in a while, so I felt like I should. You know, I gotta keep, gotta keep the ball rolling on these videos. And unfortunately for me, Hollywood has not decided to make any new big movies for me to review for you guys. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. So I mean, I could talk more about more stuff. I did that last week, you know. But I'm, I am getting bored. So, and there's no news, so I can't do, like, some interesting commentary stuff. No, no, no. I have to either be boring or figure it out. So what is, I don't know what's going on with my hair. We're just going to work with it today. So, today, <laughs> we're going to be talking about Supergirl. Isn't this going to, this is going to be so fun, guys. You are going to love it. This season of Supergirl could use... Over here. No, I don't know. What could this season of Supergirl use more of? Everything that's bad about this show. That's what they decide to add into this. Okay? All the freaking... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I felt loyal to the show because I watched the first season, which was actually okay. Second season, I believe if we're on the, the last two seasons... We're not good. I don't know which season we're on at this point because I can't forget. I could not get through the season that we're currently on. It looks like I wet spot it's on my face. I swear I don't. It's just like little things. Just let them be. Why oh, begin with this show? Where? Where do? Where do I? Where do I begin? Because I don't want this to just be like a solely about the forced. Um, I'm gonna call it propaganda. It sounds like an intense word, but I more just mean like obvious conclusions that are supposed to be made by the audience. Stupid phone ringing. I should probably get that. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, with that out of the way. Dry cleaning agency. Again. Just gonna let it ring. Call from just dry keep ringing. Call from just dry Call from just dry Is it done? You better not call again, please. Oh, God. Okay. Well, you know, fun times there. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, uh, I don't want this to be all about, like, just the propaganda part, but I have to talk about it, obviously, because it is such a big deal. So they have a little bit in season two, which I didn't think was, besides it being extremely forced, it was only, like, a little bit, so I could live with it. I want to say it was season two, it might have been season three or four, you know what I mean. It's, like, fall. But, like, this show takes the least, the dumbest route they could take. It becomes so dumb that I predict, like, as I'm watching the show, I predict what characters are going to say because all their characters have to be right. One of them is wrong in every scene, and then they, every, whoever the other character in that scene was gives, I mean, it's not necessarily, like, I don't want to make, like, one sound, like, right or wrong necessarily, like, in real life, but in the show... It's, like, just so, there's no ambiguity. They tried to give, like, a little bit with, like, Lena, you know, being slightly more against, you know, she's kind of feeling it. Kind of the whole, like, why can't humans be as good as aliens thing. And she actually makes a good point, but the movie, the show is very clear that she is clearly wrong. Uh, it's kind of like, if you're going to make commentary that comments on current social issues, it seems a little... A little strange to make one like to sort of divide your audience in that way um, I mean it's it's just it just feels really forced and it's just a very obvious way of doing it because like it's not like they're all individuals and have like their own different opinions on everything if they're all the same like like I said I was literally predicting the next lines to come out of their mouth I'd be like yep and even even when freaking Supergirl was right 
because it didn't line up with like exactly what they were trying to say. I was like, she's not going to be right because there was I, there was points where she's wrong too, um, and I'm not going to comment on whether I disagree or disagree with what they're trying to say. I just there was like one point where she was like genuinely right that it like wasn't like a risk yet by like the evidence or whatever, and then I was like, well, of course she's going to be wrong despite it like making sense because it wouldn't go. It was just very very annoying. And they tried to humanize it with giving the villain's backstory, which I did appreciate because it at least made it a little bit clearer. Like, you could at least see where they're coming from. But they were obviously trying to comment on illegal immigration in terms of having the aliens be illegal immigrants to Earth. I'm assuming that that was what they were doing. Um, if that weren't, then I guess I'm an idiot. But I'm pretty sure that's exactly what they were doing. Um, they went, they went, they went a little, a little, a little, a little, a little far with it. Um, uh, so yeah, like there's this one part where it's like all the people on all like the online forums, which are like, I guess, I, I don't know whether maybe there's, I'm not, I'm not big into politics. Maybe there's like conservative forums going out there, I guess. I don't know. Um, but... Um, but, like, they go on there, and she calls, and she's like, I found out that, like, my daughter's friend's mother is a alien, and I blew her up. That's the sense, or it kills her. I don't remember exactly how she killed her, or attempted to. She was, like, asking to build a bomb or something, and I was like, that seems, I know people who are very, you know, pro-wall or whatever, they're not quite on the, oh, let's go murder people train. Just yet. You know, so, that seems like a little bit of a jump to murder your longtime friend. Because oh, I was like, okay, wow. But more my problem is it's just boring if you're being forced and told like what to think. It, like, it's just boring, boring, boring. Boring, boring, boring. Which brings me to the second problem, which is I want the heroes to lose. I just want them to lose. They are the dumbest people on the planet. They make stupid decisions left and right. Stupid, stupid, stupid decisions. I'm like, bad guys, can you please just win? Okay, please, please, please. Because the bad guys are way more active, for starters, which you always want active protagonists. A having active antagonists is also is not a bad thing, necessarily, but you want both active protagonists and active antagonists. And the antagonists are not very active, it's just that the protagonists suck so bad that I just want them to die. I am waiting for the day that Supergirl dies. You heard it from me. I want Supergirl to die because she sucks as a character. She is bland. She is stale. She has become boring. There is nothing individual about these people. They all spew out the same nonsense. All have like the same personalities. Hardly, you know, whatever. Don't, they just are like, and they make stupid decisions. She goes out in a line of fire all the time, despite it not making any sense whatsoever. And I'm just like, why? Dumb decisions deserve to die, and yet they won't kill her off. I don't know why. CW would be better off for it. I'm not looking forward to the Batwoman thing. It could be great. I'm not going to judge it yet. And good day to you all. Please subscribe. And I'll have better videos when there are movies out for me to review. <laughs> See you guys in the next one.